Right now, Dr. Schwartz is moving the specimen to the table for necropsy. It has been carefully preserved inside this container until the section. I'm unsure what to call this, but it is quite interesting. Dr. Schwartz makes the first incision. And tries to peel back the outer covering of the organism. There's some interesting tissue that Dr. Schwartz has just pulled out. It seems long and fibrous. Dr. Schwartz is examining it <clears throat> to see if she can use any of it uh, to test for genetic material. Looks like they found some sort of, maybe for lack of a better word, organ. Um, we are unsure with the species. She's trying to carefully extract it from the organism without damaging too much of the other tissue. The color is brown and is circular shaped. and seems to be sticking to the outside tissues. Dr. Villanova offers her assistance in the dissection. But it's still difficult because they do not want to totally destroy the organism. Oh. Here they have vibrant red fibrous material. Um, it was connected to the brown organ. Still unsure of its function. Or any other involvement in the organ system, organism system. Here we have uh, Maria, Dr. Villanova's assistant, um, writing down more observations as Dr. Schwartz is finally able to, or maybe not, to take out the large brown organ. Dr. Villanova just suggested uh, to cut it uh, longitudinally uh, down the center of the organ. Here it seems difficult and spongy and has a lot of pressure built up behind it. Liquid seems to seep through. brown and yellow thick liquid. Apparently this is 
possibly the right material for Dr. Villanova to take a, um, hopefully get a genetic sample from. puts this in a container and is telling me that she's adding water right now. They get a little bit more of the sample, and it relieves some of the pressure in the brown organ. Dr. Schwartz presents her findings, and then continues to the uh, necropsy of the organism. <laughs>